Hey there, this is Straight Talk, No Sugar Added. Life topics the way I see them. I'm your host, Nina Perez. I am here to challenge and transform your thinking. No excuses. Let's do this. Welcome back. It's your host, Nina Perez. How are you today? I'm so glad you guys are here with us. And I wanted to talk today about the judgment seat. You know, it just seems like lots of us sit in that judgment seat. So have you ever felt like you're being judged unfairly or that you have the right to judge others? You know, people could be saying things about you and they have no idea what they're talking about. And if you were the judge... You know, there are things that you say without fully knowing what you're talking about. You know, it makes me feel a sort of way when I hear that there might be people that slandered me or that were saying things about me that are completely not true. They have no idea who I am. They're making a judgment call on a moment. I also hate hearing others do that about others. You know, it says in James 4.11... It says, brothers and sisters, do not slander one another. And then if you read a little further, it goes on to say, who are you to judge your neighbor? So hold up. First off, it says, don't slander your brothers or sisters. And then it says, who are you to judge your neighbors? So is it your brothers and sisters or is it your neighbors? You know what? I feel that was intentional. Because basically, if you think about it, Everyone is your neighbor. We shouldn't be judging anyone, period. So what is a neighbor anyway? I had to look this up. It says one living or located near another. So one living or located near another. So whether you're at your job, at a supermarket, doctor's office, home, school, practice, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you're living or located near a person that is your neighbor, 100%, it's your neighbor because it's the person that is located near you. I try my hardest not to become one of those people that slander or talk about others. You know, most of the time when people come to me, I'll let them vent. I'll let them talk about their issues. I let them bring up the other person. But I always end up asking, what is your solution? Otherwise, What you're doing right now is just complaining. You're being judgy and you're slandering somebody. But what is your solution to that? You know, everybody out there has a story. Everyone is going through something or has gone through something. We don't always know what that is. And we judge people for the moment, that one moment. That's what you're looking at. Not even realizing that there is a huge backstory to that one moment. You have no idea what happened to that person. You have no idea what they've gone through. You shouldn't be judging. We should not be judging each other. We have no idea the pain and hurt that that person has been through. And yet we judge them for that one stupid moment that they have. You know, there's a a passage that says to take the plank out of your own eye before you take the sawdust out of your brother's eye. And I mean, come on. It's because most of us find it okay to judge others, even though we got our own garbage. We got our own stuff. We got stuff going on. We, we have garbage that we had to let go of, stuff that we have been dealing with. Yet we sit there with this big plank in our eye, looking at everybody else, smacking them with all our judgment, instead of helping them with their little speck in their eye. In other words, their garbage is probably smaller than ours. You know, it's funny sometimes You can't even make people happy no matter what you do. People will always find a way to judge you. Always find something to judge you for. You know, it's like this um, joke that I, I heard. I forgot who said it. I think it was Joel Osteen. And it was about this dog that this guy bought. And he was going to go duck hunting. So this is a duck hunting dog. And he couldn't wait. To take this dog out and train it. So he was training the dog and he was telling his friend about his dog. But his friend is always negative. So his friend was always like, eh, you know, the dog is probably, you know, ugly dog or whatever. So then he, you know, he judges, uh, you know, well, let's go fishing. Well, I don't want to go fishing if it rains. Well, I don't want to go this and he's just complaining and this is stupid anyway, judging, whatever, whatever. 
So then the dog comes out and he goes, I want to show you what my dog does. And he kills the duck. The dog runs on the water, goes and gets the duck, runs back on top of the water and gets in the boat. And the guy goes, yeah, just like I knew, the dog can't swim. Like, <laughs> really? Because when we judge, we are looking for the thing. We are looking for the thing to be negative about. We are looking for that thing that we want to judge so that our garbage doesn't look as big as somebody else's, right? You know, you never can make everyone happy. It doesn't matter. So, I mean, if you're broke, then people say, get off your ass and go to work. As if you didn't even try that already or as if you're not even doing that now. Just because you feel like you don't have enough finances does not mean that you were not working. You know, if you're too rich, then what are you doing with all that money anyway? Why do you have such a big house? And why do you have such a big house for just two people? I, if you're fat, well, then just control what you eat. Exercise. Count your calories. If you're too thin, well, hmm, must be anorexic or bulimic. This goes on and on for every situation. We can find thousands of reasons to judge one another. I think one of the biggest things that people get judged on is your past. And guess what, guys? If you're listening to this podcast, you got a past, right? Because you're alive. And if you're alive, you got one. And I bet you all of us have an enormous amount of garbage in our past. And people will be more than happy to remind you of what that is and judge you on it. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think that you can judge people if there is something horrifically wrong with what they are doing and it's hurting someone. Absolutely. In Proverbs, it says, speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and the needy. Use wisdom. If you see things are being unfair to a more vulnerable person, then speak up. Judge that person fairly. Let them know that what they are doing is wrong. If you see a person getting hurt, I would hope that you would judge that situation and help that person. I would hope so. You know, my thought is hurt people hurt people. So if that person is hurting that other person, they must themselves be in some serious amount of pain so deep that they think it's okay to hurt others. And it is not okay. Everybody has their stuff. Let's fix it. Let's deal with it. But let's not hurt people and judge people and slander people just because we've been through some stuff. So I always try to judge the action and I try not to judge the person. But I have judged a person or two unfairly. Heck yeah, I have. I am not proud of it. But I do think we all do that and it's not right. Most of the time, judgment comes with control or power. We try to control the situation or have power over the situation. And if people are not doing things the way we think that they should be doing things, we judge it. Because we are all that. So before you go and slander others with what you think they should or should not be doing, let's stop and look at our own mess and not slander one another anymore with our words or our actions or our reactions, right? Because we also react very quickly to people when they do something to us. And then we react and judge them on that reaction, not realizing it could be a simple form of miscommunication. How many marriages are being destroyed over miscommunication? Let's be the kind of people that lift each other up in spite of how we would do it ourselves. So, so don't, don't even worry about how you would do it yourself. Let's just love on one another and be the kind of people that encourages one another. Judgment is an ugly thing, people. In the same measure that you judge, you're going to be judged too. So try your hardest not to do that. Starting with your mindset, changing your ways, don't slander your brothers or sisters or neighbors. Don't slander yourself either. You are worth it and you are worthy. It's time for change and only you can do that. So I thank you for listening to Straight Talk, No Sugar Added, just trying to live in a judge-free zone.